Did you just soil yourself? Maybe. <laughs> it did sound a little wet, didn't it? Right at the end. Ooh. <laughs>
and it says, congratulations to me. It says, congratulations to me on this. Um, and I am super excited. This is an incredibly, li like, we already pulled two variations out of that, out of that mystery box. And this is also an incredibly limited variation. And it's huge. <laughs> I, for I forgot how big this pop was, but it is gigantic. Look at this thing. Where am I going to put this? And the, good, the great thing about them, too, is they have pop protectors of, like, all shapes and sizes. So this is most definitely in one. Oh, yeah, definitely. So this is super protected. That's a, oh, here's, here's disgusting bubble wrap noise. I apologize. This is so well protected, and it's great. Um, this is crazy. <laughs> and it's, it's so heavy, and it's huge. We've got the Jafar... And Aladdin. Jafar is a serpent with Aladdin coiled up, signed by Scott Wanger, limited to three pieces. This is crazy. You guys saw me pull the, the egg out, but now here's the actual pop, and good God, this is cool. This is a super cool pop just in general. Wow, I mean, look at the detail. Look at the detail on that. This is one of the movie moments. This is an insane piece to have. And only three other people could have just exactly this one. Obviously, people could buy the pop. It was a Hot Topic exclusive. People could buy the pop, no problem. But mine's signed by the Aladdin voice actor. And there's only three from Seven Bucks a Pop. That's crazy to me. I am so happy that I was able to get this. This, is a, this was incredible luck. Uh, and thank you to Seven Bucks a Pop for doing stuff like this and allowing people like me to, to get these and, and well protected and everything. So thank you, guys. Go buy their pop shields. That's what this is in. They make them in a bunch of different shapes and sizes. Absolutely go do that. This is not a paid anything. They don't pay me, but I use them, so you should use them too. Great company. Uh, and they, they do a lot of cool signature series and uh, prize eggs like this. So maybe you could be next. You, I, you know, people always say, oh, you could be next. Well, you could. You could be the next to get a cool limited variant or a cool prize egg kind of deal that they do every now and then. And it's sweet. I'm so happy with that. It's such a cool pop. And it's such a cool signature to have. I should have not put my trash on this. Uh, so now we're getting into the main event. Even though I don't know if we can top. I don't know if we can top that. I don't know if we can top the, uh, the Jafar over there. Alright, here we go. We got paper. We got paper in the band box. Uh, and then we got more paper. We got more paper here, and it really, they hit the branding out of the, out of the park. It's a home run. Uh, all right, so first things first, uh, looks like a trading card and a scratch off. Uh, yep, we got the scratch off. I will do that off camera, uh, probably. And then we got this guy. I don't, I think it's Castlevania. I'm going to say it's Castlevania and hope for the best. I cannot tell. I don't think it tells me. And it doesn't, but it's as part of the villain series, so that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like Castlevania to me. Uh, the cheat sheet will tell me more, but this looks like Castlevania if I've ever seen it. Next up, we've got a pin that I have not looked at yet. What do we got? Oh, it's Mega Man. We got Mega Man. That's a pretty sweet pin. Uh, you can see if it's numbered. Uh, you can see if it's a limited one. Uh, I will do that right now real quick, and maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Either way, I collect pins, so I'm happy with it. It is limited to 801. I don't know if you can see that. And it's number 11. Fun fact, number 11 is my lucky number. So that's pretty cool. I got a Mega Man pin number two, my lucky number. That's pretty sweet. I'll take that. I like Mega Man. Um, more so the like everything about it as opposed to the actual games. I haven't played a lot of the actual games, full disclosure. Um, I'm I'm a bad gamer. I'm a fake gamer boy. Uh, next up, we have... Can't even tell. I'm trying to open it without looking at it, but it's in... Ow! <laughs> Sharp. Uh, we have... Some kind of coin. What the hell? We have a coin. <laughs> we have a coin of some sort. Um, definitely going to need the cheat sheet for this one. I'm not going to lie to you and pretend I know. But it is super cool. It's a super cool looking coin. Um, or if that, it's like, I don't even know if you can call it a coin. It's like kind of a compass, actually. Now that I look at it, it looks like a compass. That's, uh, 
That's pretty cool. It's like a compass and a coin. Uh, next up, we have, I think, the art print. I don't know if that's upside down. Oh, it, I can see it in the camera. It's Fox. Star Fox. Now, this is something I know. Star Fox is pretty sweet. Uh, some of the older games are fun as hell. Love Star Fox. And this is a great print. Number two, uh, 2,200 at the bottom there. This is awesome. I love this. This is going straight into my binder of the other art prints that I have from BAM. And then uh, last but not least, I believe we have the autograph, which I bought this whole box for Borderlands. I have yet to see something out of Borderlands, I believe. At least nothing that I recognize out of Borderlands. So we could get really lucky here and have the autograph be from Borderlands. Oh, yes it is. Look at that. It looks like Maya to me. Is it Maya? I think so. We have Maya. 35 of 99. So it looks like looks like we're getting lucky with the variants again. 35 of 99 Maya autograph. That is awesome. I'm very happy with that. Uh, so we got some kind of variant. The cheat sheet will tell us. But 35 of 99, that's super lucky. And uh, I don't know who the actress is. I don't know her name. Again, we're going to be told. Here's, oh, they actually do a card now. They didn't used to do this. We have Martha Harris, known for Borderlands, Pokemon, and The Walking Dead, apparently. I do not know. I'll have to look her up. I do not know what she was in the other things, but this is pretty sweet. I'm very happy with that. And again, it looks like we got one of the limited variants, so that's pretty cool. Then we got a monthly giveaway. Oh, that's pretty funny. Um, the monthly giveaway this week is, or this month, is Kane Hodder signed NES cartridge. Fun fact. I have already got this exact item, so I, uh, I mean, cool if I win it, but I do not need this. I already have one. That's literally that exact same thing. That's pretty cool. All right, cheat sheet time. That is the last thing in the box. It is empty. Oh my God, there's so much trash. All right, so uh, celebrity autograph. Anyone uh, need a siren on their side? We couldn't wait to bring you Martha, Har Martha Harms. Who, did I say it wrong before? Did I say Martha Harris? I think I did. It looks like Martha Harris. Sorry, I can't read. Martha Harms, uh, who voices our favorite Siren Maya in Borderlands. Uh, we did get the most limited variant uh, of, the, of the art print, so that's pretty cool. There were apparently six different art prints you could get, or six different autograph prints you can get. We got the only limited one, which is pretty crazy. Um, the pin, we did not get a variant, but that is okay. But that was not a variant, but I guess there were only 800 and something of them, so that's pretty cool. We did not get a variant on that. However, we did get the card variant, I believe. Actually, is it supposed to be metallic? I can't even tell. I don't, maybe we didn't. I don't even know. I can't tell. I don't think we got the card variant because I think it would be like metallic or something. But we got this, we got this, uh, which I haven't read yet. Uh, so, uh, the artist select card this month, we're featuring villains from Castlevania. Okay, I got that. I, I'm pretty proud of myself that I was actually able to figure that one out. Because uh, I never played any Castlevania. I know that's terrible, but I never did. Sorry. Uh, the game that made you throw your NES controller? That's exactly why. <laughs> because I do not have the patience for Castlevania. Uh, the game that made you throw your NES controller across the room? Artist Trey Baldwin brings you uh, Dracula, Dr Dracula himself. Uh, be on the lookout for hollow foil versions. This is not that. This is just regular. This is a regular one. Uh, I am curious about this prop. Uh, maybe Uncharted? That's the only thing I can think of with, like, a compass. Uh, let's see. From Tomb Raider. Ah, that makes sense, too. From Tomb Raider lore comes a replica coin based on the Clock of Ages. Combine this with the Triangle of Light to control space and time. I'm going to have to get me a Triangle of Light to control space and time, I guess. Uh, the Artist Alley. Cruising through your favorite geometric shapes to battle Andross. Artist Cody James brings Star Fox to life using his signature ballpoint pen style. That is this guy right here. Pretty cool. The uh, limited one for this was Falco, which would have been sweet as well, but that's okay. Uh, but the Falco, you can kind of see it at the bottom there. Pretty cool. Uh, I didn't read about the collector's pin, but it wasn't a limited one, but I'll talk about it anyway. Uh, collector's pin from everybody's favorite 80s Bionic Hero Mega Man comes a fan rendition pin set designed by artist Tom Ryan. Most will get Mega Man himself, but also be on the lookout for Metal Man, limited to 250, or Wily, limited to 99, or Black and White Dr. Wily, limited to 99 as well. We did not get any of those, but we did get Mega Man, which I'd argue is more iconic anyway, so that's fine. Um, 
yeah, this is pretty sweet. This is actually a great box. Uh, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that the autograph ended up being from the, my favorite game. My, probably my second favorite game of all time, Borderlands 2. Um, I'm, I'm very happy that we got this. This is pretty sweet. And it, and it's even the, the very super limited number to 99 edition, which is insane to me. I am getting very lucky with all of that. And I could not be happier. And I, man, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm very happy with this box. Everything we've opened today, it's been great. Happy with seven bucks a pop, sending me this really sweet prize egg that I got. Man, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. So if you want to see more of my content, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, turn on the little notifications if you want to do that. Um, I'm trying to get better at this, but it's not my thing. I don't like promoting myself. I don't know why. It's just, it's just how I am. Uh, and if you want to check out my Instagram where I post pictures of all this garbage, uh, then you can, you can go like that at Funko Fat Guy as well. Uh, I have a Facebook page. I don't use it that much, but uh, same, na same name, everything. Pretty much that's it. Uh, go, check out, go check out all that stuff, and uh, we'll call it a day. We'll call it a video. That's it. It's over. Uh, Betty White is immortal. Goodbye.